In this video, like uh, every week, I'm going to give you an update about cases, document, and email MVC is working on uh, this week. If it's something you want to know, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Mondo. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. This is John from USA Mondo. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome uh, here. I help our newcomers, permanent resident, and US citizen in the United States of America. Regarding uh, immigration, uh, sometimes we talk about business, uh, you know, sometimes uh, I give them advice and talk about finance just once in a while. Uh, so you guys know exactly what you do when you come to the United States of America as a newcomer, okay? But today's video, like I said in the introduction, it will be about an update uh, at NVC National Visa Center, cases, document, email they are working on. And also, I'm going to uh, show you on... Uh, update on a US embassy of uh, one particular country okay so today so some of you guys on who are petition uh, I know you've been waiting uh, you know here from uh, NVC National Visa Center once your case is approved by USCIS uh, maybe like six weeks ago two months ago you kind of uh, impatient you know which is normal you know you want to you want the process to go faster okay and then this week, uh, NVC announced on the website uh, uh, that was on September 28th, on uh, yesterday, that they are working on cases they receive on September 23rd, which is a good news. NVC is working on cases they received five days ago, so that's that's really good. So they they're working on cases faster now. I don't know the reason why. Maybe some of the U.S. consulate uh, resumed their visa services. They they were able to push some on uh, cases to the embassy. Maybe that's why they now they have time to work on. Uh, cases uh quickly okay so if you are somebody who who is a petitioner maybe you receive um uh, a notice from ucs uh, like uh, six weeks ago to seven weeks ago that your case is approved and you are your citizen and um chances are your cases are nvc national visa now because uh reason why i'm saying you're a citizen because uh, for green card holder it sometimes it takes a little bit longer uh, and for f4 uh, for category like if you petition for your siblings it takes on uh, the process it takes on uh, longer as well so like i say if you are a petitioner who is a u.s citizen and uh, your cases were approved uh, like um, less than two months ago chances are your cases are nvc national visa now so what you're gonna do you're gonna pay attention to your email boss or uh, you know see that you didn't miss any uh, email coming from nvc telling you to start your immigrant visa process so at this point what gonna happen is once your nvc get your case at uh, uh, their level they're gonna key in all the petition information in the system and then from there they will send you the invoice id and then uh, uh, case number okay this is this information is for some of you guys who are new here who don't know exactly how the process works so like i always tell you guys some of you guys already know what is going on you guys are check the nvc website regularly this video is not for you it's just for people who don't have a chance to check the website regularly okay so once uh, you receive your invoice on uh, uh, id and case number then it's time for you to start on the immigrant visa process you pay the fees or uh, if you want to choose an uh, agent you choose agent you pay the fees you send out the required document uh, for you the petitioner and also you the um, beneficiary who is on uh, the intended immigrant okay once you submit on uh, all those documents you pay the fees nvc gonna review those documents okay they're gonna review those documents because uh, some of you guys are uh, you know send out your document submit your document to nvc you've been waiting and uh, hear back from nvc you know to let you know whether you they accept your document or they reject it okay so if they reject your document you're going to resubmit it again so yesterday also which was on september 28th nvc announced on their website that they are reviewing cases uh, actually document uh, they receive on july 21st which is like nine weeks uh no yeah nine weeks ago roughly so they're kind of a little bit slow on that and uh, i don't know the main reason behind that um uh, but you know once on they review your document they, they will let you know okay you they will, they will send you a notification pay attention to your uh, email um email boss and uh, you know check your email regularly to make sure you don't miss uh, any email coming from uh, nvc okay so at this point uh, you know they are reviewing a uh, document of people who are not affected by the immigration suspension which hopefully 
will end on December 31st of 2020. So, you know, if you are impacted by the immigration suspension, just be a little bit patient because it will take a little bit longer for NVC to review your document than uh, it usually takes, okay? So now the third update uh, today is going to be the email, okay? Some of you guys will send email to NVC, maybe like last week or two weeks ago, whatever. NVC announced on their website uh, yesterday, on September 28, 2020, that they are responding to email they received on September 23rd, which is like five days ago. So it looks like now they're working on cases and they review email. They're responding to email uh, at the same time, you know, because it's, it's five days. Both of them take, uh, both of them take uh, five days. And so if you're in, you know, in that, if you are somebody who sent an email to NVC roughly, uh, maybe like a week ago, you know, check your email, make sure you don't miss uh, any email uh, NVC send you, okay? So guys, uh, basically those are the three updates uh, uh, I have for you today. And uh, and uh, like I say, I have, uh, I want to show you U.S. Consulate uh, update on uh, one particular country. Let's go in front of my computer. Hello guys, uh, the country I chose today is Togo. You know, guys, uh, some of you guys who don't know, I was born and raised in Togo. I'm originally from Togo, so when I click on T over here, that will take you to the uh, T area. You know, every country that starts uh, with T, and then from here, I chose Togo. But some of you guys who are new here to come to this website, you just go to US Embassy that gov okay and then now uh, you click on your country and today i'll click on togo and then uh, this um, page will open this is where you find information regarding the the, the u.s um, consulate the address and then uh, phone number and fax number in case you want to send them uh, something and then from here you click on u.s embassy in lome lome is the capital of togo so you come to this website since we're going to talk about visas, we click on visas and from there you will know for sure if they resume visa services. As you can see here, they didn't have any information that um, that state on uh, the consul didn't resume visa services yet. So if you see something like this, I'm pretty sure the consulate, uh, the US consulate basically will resume visa services, okay? So over here. What you're gonna do since uh, we're trying to get information regarding uh, immigrant visa, you click on this one, family based on immigration, and then we'll open this uh, website. Okay, if on the consulate uh, they didn't resume visa services, here you see that information that uh, they didn't resume visa services and they don't know when they're gonna resume visa services for this one. Uh, they're saying that uh, during this period of uh, reduced uh, consular operations, uh, the US Embassy in Lome will. Uh, liberally approve on expedite and request them for the following immigrant visa ir1 ir2 cr1 cr2 and k1 so basically those are spouse and children of u.s citizens also fiance of u.s citizens so they're working on those cases if you're in that category you need to check with the consulate and see um you know what to do you know if you don't know exactly what you do they will tell you exactly what to do and also on the bottom of here, you can see that they are now working on R1, RI5, on which is operating with US citizens. So basically, those are stuff that is going on. So if you want me to check the country for you, your country, just let me know. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys love it, learn something from me. If you know somebody who might benefit from this video, share with that person. If you like the video and uh, you want to subscribe, all you gotta do just click on my head over here okay just click on my head to subscribe if you want to be notified every time i drop a new video hit the bell if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button once again my name is john thanks for watching and i touch you guys in the next video and also before i go i want to thank all of you guys who sent me a message yesterday uh, when you guys noticed on uh, my eyes i have uh, an infection uh, it kind of bothered me a little bit but it's getting better so hopefully it goes uh, away very soon. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you later. USA Monday.